In this video, we're going to look at shapes 17 through 20 in the official shape shifting guide, which is, uh, there's a link for it in the description below. It was put out by Fun and Motion, the manufacturer, and typically they are done in this uh, color, which is called the spaced out, although I will be using that and blue planet and optical illusions uh, for some of my demonstrations. Shape number 17 is this one, and it is called the remote control. See how it looks kind of like a remote control? And it's the same on both sides, just with a different pattern. That's 17, the remote control. And then number 18 is shown this way in the guide. And here's the back side of it. And this is called the wave. This is shape number 20 in the guide. And there's the back side. This one's called the swan. And this is shape number 19. And I'm not sure that it has a name. If it does, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to show you how to make each of these shapes, at least how to how I make them. So that's not necessarily the only way they can be made. Obviously, things can be made, um, these can be made in all kinds of different ways. Okay, so we usually start with the, the square, so or the cube, so let's go back to the cube. There's the cube in the blue planet. And the first one we're going to make is the remote control. And to do that, it's pretty simple. We can pull open, remember we have to find where three lines come together. I don't know if you can see that in this particular pattern. You can usually see an optical illusion. And then we open it usually into a the crown here. And then we're going to just kind of pull it open and let that flop down. That is the remote control. So it is that simple. We'll do it again. We'll put this one, which is in the ring back into the star like so and then we can put it into a crown which is this whoops the shape and then just pull this down like that and we have the remote control so that's two remote controls let me do it also in the optical illusion putting this one back into the star and putting it into a crown and then pulling this open and down and open here into an, the remote control. And we can turn that over. We have the remote control on both sides. Also, I wanted to show you, we'll do it again, uh, putting this one back into the star and the square and seeing those three lines that come together it is easier to see in this color than the others I wanted you just to see that and then open this up and that and you've got the remote control and you know you just play with it which is what I do to create the art that I create uh, that's not sticking very well. Oh, there we go. The, you just have to get the magnetism to work right. So there's something where I've put two of them together in the, uh, in the remote controls to get this design. And I don't know about a third one, whether we could put it together like this. Yes, that's got some magnetism there. And, Maybe another one over here. Okay, that's got some magnetism. There, isn't that an interesting shape? And that's four of the remote controls, which is shape number 17 in the shape guide. Okay, shape number 18, which was called the wave. Remember, that's this one. Can turn it over. Pretty easy also to get to from the star. So we'll turn these back into a star. Just flip that to get it back to a star. 
and all you have to do is turn this one out and this one kind of in and there you've got the wave okay so go back to the star turn this one out and this one in there you go that's the wave go back to the star turn this one out and this one in there you go go back to the star Turn this one, open this one up, and pull this one in. Okay, this is one of my uh, favorite building blocks I use to make a lot of different designs. I mean, you can just put them together a lot of different ways. You can put them together this way. Whoops, I'm sorry. Like this, so there's two of them together. Kind of interesting. Or, Let's see how else, what might we put them together? Oh, like this, where we put those sides together. And again, whenever we do those kinds of sides together, that's kind of interesting, and that's three. And we could always put a star on top of this when we have the dodecahedron shape. And then it'll make it, maybe I need to do that, make the star, and that will make it a little more sturdy so that I can flip it over easier. So I'm going to take this one back to the star and just put the star on. There we go. So there it is with the star. So that's four shishibos, three in the wave shape, and then we can turn it over and see this. And you, again, you will see this shape in some of the brochures, which I think I will do some how-tos on some of the art that's in the brochures in the future as well. Shape number 18, which is the wave. Okay, next is shape number 19, which is this shape. So we'll take some of these and go into the star. It's a good place to start for this one. And you can see this one gets, this side gets turned around like that. And then we need to have um, the blue down, just like the, the firecrackers versus the spaced out. So we have the blue and the yellow and that. So that is shape number 19. Okay, we'll do it again. We start with the star and we see that this one needs to be turned out. We need to get this down here so that we get this darker blue tip. And, whoops. This one's supposed to be turned out. Okay, that should do it then. Okay, that's it. I hope my hands weren't in the way. Let me, I'm not, when I'm watching it, I'm not watching my hands to see what they're doing. So I'm going to do it again. Start with the star, and then we want to have this one opened, pull this one down to get the that other tip and there we go and that is shape number 19 here it is on the back side just so you know what it looks like you don't get that from the um the guide and then how might we put that together again i just play with them you know they can go together here with these tips and we get whoops if i can get it to stay we get a shape like this and then maybe we can put a third one in there with the tips of this one. Or put these two on that one. Whoops. Okay. And again, like I say, keep playing with this one or a shape like this one and, and see what you can get with it. I'm sure you can do some interesting things with this shape too. I don't know if there's one where sometimes turning them around and putting them together on the back side could be useful. That would be, if we wanted to do that, maybe putting them together with those, those two pieces. Doesn't look particularly interesting to me right now, but we could play with it and perhaps do something. And the next is the swan. This one, I'll leave that one back there. And this one is very easy to make. 
all you have to do with this one is open one of these that's it so that's one here's another one we put in the, the star open this and we leave that and see what it's like on the other side and we can do it again with this one star and we could do it differently open I think we opened the yellow last time let's open the blue so that we get it to look like that again one of the different shapes again these can be put together like this um, I have one more of those let's let's do it now just to be fun do one in all of the same let's go to the star same design okay so open this one up and we have this okay so now we could put it together like this okay so that's the swan that's three of them and I think you probably that's in some of the um, brochures as well this is one that you cannot put the star on I believe now these could match if I had done this one the same way if instead of pulling it out the, opening up the yellow I had opened up the blue then I could have it such that it was the blues were all on this side and the whoops there we go okay and then the yellows were all on this side very pretty I don't think you can do a star let me see if you can or not because I think it will hit those pieces down there but let's try this I don't remember actually no you can do a star so there it is with the star which will make it again more stable for when you turn it over and I think that's just a really nice piece of art I can move this one out of the way for just a minute and you can see very pretty. I like that a lot with that optical illusion and the blue planet. So the blue planet is the star, the optical illusion is the um, the swan which is shape number 20 and there it is from the other side. Also very pretty. Okay, so that's, I'm sorry, yeah, that's shape number 20. Okay, so that's shapes 17 through 20. We'll put them back out here for you. That is the remote control. This one is the wave. This one is shape number 19, and that is shape number this wave is just really hard to get it to stand up in any kind of way. Number 20, you can kind of see what it is, and this one pretty well. But this one is real hard, and there's the remote control. Unless maybe I prop it up in the back, it still won't be very steady. But anyway, that is the wave. And of course, if you turn it over, that's the wave and the way they show it in the guide is with this side down and that side up and that's the wave be sure to like and subscribe and I'll be putting other how-to videos up as well as more art videos enjoy